Hi, I'm Dan Chambers of Chambers Law Firm. This is the latest in a series of videos that I'm doing that discuss changes in law in California that take effect on January 1st. Now, many of these laws are going to change profoundly the way that courts sentence you if you're convicted of a felony, how gang cases are prosecuted, and a host of other changes that are continuing our sort of evolution here in California over the last 15 or so years toward criminal justice reform and toward driving out these very lengthy sentences people were serving for relatively minor crimes. And we've seen a lot of new laws passed this year that are continuing our march toward criminal justice reform. In this video, I'm going to talk about an extremely important change in law that affects a lot of the cases that I handle. Many of my cases involve either gang allegations or gang membership or crimes committed for the benefit of a criminal street gang. Penal Code Section 1109 will take effect on January 1st. There is no Penal Code Section for that now. It's going to be a brand new section that's going to profoundly change how prosecutors have to prosecute gang cases. Penal Code Section 1109 is going to require, it's not even optional, it's going to require the judge to what's called bifurcate, or in other words, separate the crime from the gang enhancement. So let me give you an example. Let's say that a person is charged with robbing somebody of their skateboard and they used force or fear to do that, which is the definition of a robbery. But the prosecutor wants to say, well, this guy's also a gang member and he did it to increase his reputation in the gang and so I'm going to tack on this gang enhancement. Well, under the new law, under 1109, the prosecutor's going to have to have a, a big hurdle to overcome. That law is going to require the prosecutor to prove the 211, the robbery, without any mention of gang membership and any mention of gang activity. He's got to prove the robbery. And unless and until he proves the robbery, that part two gang evidence will never get heard by the jury under Penal Code Section 1109. That's why it's so important. Because we all know that if gang evidence is allowed in that first part of the case and the jury finds out that he jacked this kid for his skateboard but he's also a gang member, it's almost a guaranteed conviction because the jury's going to be prejudiced by what they hear in the first, what I call phase one. To eliminate that problem, 1109 is now going to require the DA to prove up a robbery without any of that inflammatory, prejudicial mention of this guy being a gang member. And only if the jury convicts of the robbery will we ever get to the gang evidence. So if you or your loved one is facing a gang crime right now or a, what we call a gang enhancement, call Chambers Law Firm because this new law is going to profoundly, like I said, affect how that case is going to get handled and what has to be done at trial. So look it up, call us, and we'll provide you the details on the benefits of that law. Thank you.